Hi, this is Derek Harper, and the Dub Network and Harps Court have teamed up with Herman Marshall Whiskey. It is a fantastic whiskey. I had the privilege of going to the distillery this summer, and I can vouch for what they do. We are so excited and moving forward with this partnership. y'all welcome to harps court i'm your host Derek harper and what i've decided to do is go out and find myself a co-host is what i have done and my co-host is a two-time nba champion a friend an old teammate and one of my favorite people in the world I'd like to welcome to harps court my main man mark aguirre smith tell me about it how you doing brother Oh, Smith, I'm doing great, man. Good to see you, man. You too. You look good. I appreciate little that. A little salt and pepper. A little, a little salt and pepper, pepper. yeah. I, I mean, at 60, it has to be salt and pepper. Wouldn't you agree? I don't know. I see some people, like, you know, <laughs> doing different things. They, they, they 60 with black? I, I, Are you kidding me? Have black hair at 60, Smith. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that's, uh, you're not going to fool uh, anybody with that. That's for sure. They, they, uh, I am who I am, yeah, Smith. They, they're they're going to know I right am. off the bat, man. It, I, I'm happy to have you on the show. And, of course, the uh, NBA season just popped off. Right. What, what's, your, uh, what's your takeaway from week one of the NBA? What? You know, Smith, they really into, you know, trying to find themselves, you know, as you and I both know yeah. that uh, week one, you've practiced, you know, a whole month and tried to find what you're trying to do, find find pieces and things like that. So I don't, you know, uh, the top teams, you can kind of tell what they're trying to do, you know, because they're pretty much set. But everybody else below that, Smith, you know, as a, an elite a teammate when we were playing, yeah. I'm not looking at people. I, I don't care what they're doing. I, you know, I don't care what they're trying to do. You know, I just, like, focus on the people that I know are going to be in the mix at the end. You know, there'll be somebody step up. But all the other teams, you know, just do what you do. You know, I'm not right. concerned with them. Not at all. Right. I watch as much as I can, Smith, but... You know, some of them hard to watch, Smith. <laughs> why? A, why? Why is it hard to watch Watch the league now? Because, you know, Smith, to me, it's like, you know, there's no challenge. You know, I mean, you know, like when we play, we were playing against the teams we played against, the Lakers or whoever. You know, I went in there, and I think you went in there, too. I went in there to disturb things, you right, know, right. and... <laughs> Uh, yeah, to disturb things, man, to let them know, look, there is no free chili here. If you come to Dallas, there is no free chili here. So right. don't think this is just a stop on your schedule. Right. And I don't see that now, man. I, I just don't see that now. There's such a big gap between the middle teams and the top teams mm -hmm. that, you know, I don't know if they don't give them a chance or, you know, they – you know, listening to the media about how good they are, but you know, we could care less on how good they say they are. And I don't see that anymore because, you know, teams are not coming up and really challenging the top teams. I don't see that. So, you know, that makes the, you know, the space small. It makes it right. small. You know, some teams, I don't even want to watch them. You know, forgive me. I'm, I believe in the NBA, but. I can't watch some of the teams. I don't even yeah. want to look at them. No, I hear you. Yeah. I, you talked about top teams. I want to go right there with you. I, in the Western Conference, you know, there, there's there are the Warriors, of course. A lot of people making noise about the Clippers and their depth as a team. Uh, great coaching from Ty Lue. Everybody is talking about there's more parity this year, Mark, if you would, than there's been in a long, long time. There are no no cakewalks in the West or the East, what are your top three teams in the Western Conference? Well, in the West, you know, the Warriors are definitely, you know, they've shown that they are, you know, uh, ready. They've been there. They've had championship action. They have their same team together. Uh, and then you talk about, you know, I mean, who will be the next team? Well, Phoenix, you know, uh, uh, who is it, Smith? Who's the next team? Dallas? I, yeah, Dallas, definitely. With their depth. Dallas, and yeah, Dallas, Luka, definitely. That's what but, I you know. I, I see some new things happening, though, Smith, because, you know, you've seen those teams, and 
the top three teams kind of know what's going on. And I think Dallas put some scare in all of them mm -hmm. last year. I really think that Facts. they know that, you know, with a few things going on, uh, a couple more players, and uh, I want to see the grit to think that we are champions. I haven't seen that out Dallas. You know, when you step on the floor, you know, you got to let teams know. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got to let them know. So you know what I'm saying? You got to let them know. Listen, we, we're not, we're not, we're not here to have fun with you guys. And I want to see that war that they had at the end of the season. I want to see that for a whole season. Just let the NBA know, look, it comes through here this time. You know, you got to come through here. And that's what, you know, everybody's trying to establish the fact that, you know, we, we're no joke over here. Right, right. And until, until you do that, Smith, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, you know, and I haven't seen that. Dallas has it, but I want to see it. You know, I mean, from day one of tip off, <laughs> we're destroying you guys. Yeah. And I want to see that. I want to yeah. see that. Yeah, and clearly, they, it, I'm sorry, you go ahead, Mark. No, they have it, Smith, and I just want to see it, you know, and I, 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 Honestly, I haven't seen it. They're a very good team, but I want to see that destruction. Yeah. I, you know how I, yeah, yeah, I want a destruction. <laughs> he said destruction. Yeah, um, just destruction. Like, yeah. don't come over with that. Right, I don't right. want to see You it. don't have a chance against us. But you, you know what I would say as far as the West is concerned? Again, I talked about the parity. And there's right. certainly a lot of parity in the West and the East. Anybody can beat anybody when you start talking about championship and things of that nature. But I, I like the Warriors, mainly because you're a champion until somebody knocks you off, right? If right. Somebody, somebody has to beat the Warriors for me to think that there's a better team. And after right. that, I'm going to be real frank with you. I like the Clippers after that because, again, they're a very deep team. You know, when you, you can bring Reggie, uh, Reggie, uh, Reggie off the bench. Right. Reggie Jackson is, is who I'm thinking. When you can bring a guy like that off the bench – uh, Batoon off the bench. These are guys that have been starters for a very long time in the league. And right. you can bring that kind of stuff. You add John Wall to the mix there. I think the Clippers will be right there. And unlike a lot of other people, I think that the Mavericks are right there at third in the Western Conference. And I know people are going to argue about the Phoenix Suns. You mentioned them. About the Memphis Grizzlies. They're a great basketball team. But then you go to New Orleans. There are no night, nights off in the NBA. You go to New Orleans, and you, right. you saw what they did to Brooklyn the other night. So I don't know. I like the Mavericks and what they are as a team. I think Luka has grown a little bit as a leader. They have more depth. I think Jason Kidd is a very underrated coach based on what he did very last rated, year. Very and very I just very. think that they will be right there at the end. I like this team. I like the makeup. They gave away in game one a big lead. But those are teaching moments. Those are learning opportunities for you when you lose games that you're supposed to win, that you have control of, of, and you let it get away. But, again, I think they'll grow from that and be solid. Well, Smith, let, me, let, me, let me start from that, a conversation like this. First of all, this one I think, you know, we all get tied up into, you know, what people say and they yeah, yeah. this. So far as Brooklyn, I ain't buying it. Yeah, I, Brooklyn is out for now. I don't see it, you know, why? honestly. Why, why uh, do you say that? Huh? Why? Huh? Why? Smith, they look at their roster, Smith. I yeah. don't see that team actually has enough to fight against a team that is already established, like Milwaukee, like Boston, yeah. uh, Miami. Miami. I don't see it, Smith. I mean, I'm being honest with you. I, I, Brooklyn, I, I don't, I don't see it because they change too much. You see them play well one day, and then the next day they play like this. They play, you know, this. But I haven't seen a constant "we are the one" type of team. I haven't even, seen even, that. Smith, they have three. I, they have know, three all stars, Smith, on that team, man. Huh? They have three all stars on that team. What? Ben Simmons. Whatever. whatever <laughs> Kevin Durant. What? Shit, come on. I, Kevin Durant all and Kyrie Irving, Smith. Those are three all-stars. Objective. I don't believe everybody's an all-star. You get that tag, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't see it. I don't see it. Smith, come on. I mean, I don't see it. Did they who they what they got? Hold on. If you were one of the top teams in the NBA, right. you have bad. 
Smith, they got crushed. Yeah, by New Orleans. I was just talking they about New Orleans. Yeah. Smith, I mean, I'm going to take it back a little bit. When I was with the Mavericks and I was with Detroit, there was no days like that. Smith, name me how many days you've seen like that. You get crushed. I can yeah. see you slip up losing, but, man, they got crushed. I almost, and it wasn't like a yeah. accidental crush. Right, right. No, they just, like, we better than y'all. Yeah. We, we're better. We're a better team. More and physical. they show yeah, so I, Brooklyn, man, Brooklyn got a lot to do, man. I I don't put them in there. I do not put them in there at all. Well, I of, think they're fighting to get in the playoffs personally. Yeah, I think a lot of people do put them there, though. Um, I, I would but agree I mean, that from a continuity standpoint, there's certainly room for growth as far as that's you know, concerned. It, they talent don't mix. It, it's it, you know it's a balance of talent. Yeah, and what you do on that team. And I don't see it. It doesn't mix. It just doesn't mix to me. I mean, yeah. well, who do you like in the East, Smith? Who who do you like like in the Eastern Conference? Who who, you, who do you think will come out of the East? Boston was in the finals last year. Well, see, that's a hard one, Smith. That's a real hard man. I would actually say uh, they lost their first game to Chicago. I think who's not a bad team, but. Um, the, the toss-up, I think, is going to be between uh, Milwaukee and possibly Miami, and I don't think Philly has it yet. You know, they they are very, you know, shoot, they're a strange team. They they play, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. And I'm not taking a team like this, man. I like a steady team that. You can see the progress. I mean, I I got to mention, it, it's like Dallas. Dallas hasn't took a nosedive or, or 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 a move like you like, oh, I wonder about that. They do what they do. Yeah. You know, and you can count on that, Smith. But look at Philly. Philly, you don't know. Do you, I mean, you, you tell me. Well, they're, Would you, they have started not, slow. They have started slow for sure. And it's a small but, sample size, two games. It's not enough games to know what these teams make up but will that, be throughout the that's season. Last year. You know what I'm saying? It's two of the games is not enough, but that's what I saw last year. You know, I, I don't see any, you know, difference. When you look at the Clippers, though, you see a difference. You see, you definitely see something where, oh, man, if they mix that up right, they're already good. If they mix that up right, I mean, I can see it. I can see the Clippers being the, the the coming out of the West. I actually can. I think they can play with Golden State. I absolutely do because of their depth. You know, when it comes to a seven game playoff series, I can see them competing with the Warriors. Mm -hmm. I absolutely can. You know, okay. but the Warriors got their own issues. You know, and people overlook it. You know, when you um, excuse me for going into it, when you have infighting in your team, uh, you can go into anything you want to go into. I was going to get to the Draymond Green situation. You got, you got Draymond Green <laughs> attacking one of your guards, Smith. Right. Well, one of your that, teammates. That, period. That doesn't go away. That doesn't go away, Smith. It's a little thing right now. Smith, but, we had we had scuffles in practice all the time, man. Yeah, but we didn't do that, Smith. You didn't I think walk I, up. I think I think you you walked up on somebody and punched him once. You didn't. He stole on somebody. Smith. Yeah, he did. He did. That was a low blow. When it was a fight, it was a straight up. We're gonna fight. Yeah. We didn't creep over there and just hit somebody in the face. We yeah. fought. You know. Yeah. yeah, we fought, and that can be a thing that separates your team. Like you know, Draymond, you're wrong, or or you're wrong. You know, but if you just straight up have an honest fight, you know, you just fought, you know, and you yeah. clear that up. I hope they clear it up because I love the uh, Golden State Warriors. But, yeah. man, I, I think the coach Kerr said that uh, this was the first first time he ever had something like that happen, if I'm correct. Liar. Am I correct? Yeah, that's what he so. said. But he played yeah. in Chicago. Steve played in Chicago, man. You mean to tell yeah. me that's the first time he sees somebody get punched? He and Michael no, Jordan, he Steve, Steve Kerr and Michael Jordan almost came to blows, man. Okay, came to blows. Yeah. Who stole? Who stole? Yeah, on yeah it's different. I, I, you, you're not. You, yeah, I have to agree with you on that. It was well, definitely yeah, different. Fight, but you don't go up and steal. When you see somebody steal on somebody, man, you're like, wow. Yeah. yeah. And then with Draymond, I like sucker punched him is what he did. Kind of sucker punching. But what I'm saying is that 
a team, you respect each other. Even in the fight, you respect each other. You know at the Detroit Pistons, we had fights. Right. Ain't no question. We'll you know, we that. had fights. Yeah. But to steal on somebody is a different thing. And then, hold it. To me, if I'm playing with Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas, y'all too little. I'm not finna steal on you. Get your little butt back over there. <laughs> you know, we don't, you don't really want to fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, gobble them up and throw them out. You know, right, that's right. my car. But okay. for Draymond to go over and steal on a guard, come on, man. You you didn't jump in everybody's face out here in the NBA, but I, ain't, I haven't seen you throw no swings. Yeah, I'm just talking from the real. Have you ever seen him fight somebody? No, no. I always say guys like Draymond Green, they know who to go after. They know who to try to bully and try to punk, if you would. And they're not going to mess with the wrong guy. It's just that simple, man. I mean, bullies get bullies get bullied, too, a lot of times. You understand what I'm saying? If you think you're just going to bully somebody, somebody going to kick you, you know what? In Detroit Piston basketball, you have the uh, similarities of just being a, a, a punk. You ain't going to fight nobody else, but I'm going to fight my own teammate. Right, right. You, I, I, you, you jumped the gun on me, Smith, because that's where I was headed to you getting uh, getting traded right. from Dallas to Detroit. Uh, you, 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 like I said, you jumped the gun on me. I was going there. What, what was that like, Smith? You won two championships in Detroit, but what was that like uh, yeah. when you got traded out of Dallas? And what, what do you think was behind you getting traded, Mark? You were, you were playing well, at, at a high level we, when they traded you. We got to go back, man. We got to go back. You well, know, and back. the thing is that we're talking about two different regimes, you know, and their thought and their process of building a championship team. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is, is that I think at that point is that you were my teammate. Absolutely. And a lot of guys were my teammate. And I think if you honestly, without any pressure on you, you could say, that every game I played, just by sheer stats, just by sheer things, I played to win the game. Mm -hmm. I always played to win the game. I would do anything to win the game. Matter of fact, I got in trouble because I wanted to win. Like, um, uh, with your position as a point guard, and uh, much as I love uh, our team, at that point, we were making, a ch uh, we were making uh, strides. And I got in trouble which shouldn't have been leaked. But um, I like, look, you know, you drafted Derek Harper to eventually be the point guard. And my argument was, you know, I'm out there with the load. I need him now. And somehow, just like the Draymond Green uh, picture or whatever, it was leaked out. And um, it, it, it was looked at a wrong thing to do. But my mm -hmm. problem is, is that, I believe in the right person fighting for the position brings the better team, even myself. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the beginning of the fact that uh, I didn't think I had a voice to talk about the people that I was playing with, you know, for whatever reason. And we only have so long as you would, Ask Charles Barkley, who doesn't have a championship, yep. you know, uh, several others who have. Patrick Ewan, Carl Malone, John Stockton, the list goes on and on. It goes on and on, Smith, and that window is so short. Facts. I thought it was totally obvious that you were the better point guard, and I wasn't letting up on that. I was not letting up on that because I thought about us as a team. Right. You know, so um, that was kind of the beginning of uh, – the unravel Smith. Um, and I thought that um, the people who were uh, in our office mm -hmm. uh, wasn't looking at the big picture, you right. know? Right. I, I, at the big picture. I didn't come over there. I've never in my career, Smith, came over to be one of the mediocre teams. Right. I haven't been on any mediocre teams, none. And I wasn't going to be on another mediocre team, you know? And I wasn't going to be on a team that wasn't. Uh, united in order to win a championship. And I think that separated us as a team. You know, uh, the fact that um, 
there were different narratives put out on me and you were my teammate. Yeah. Uh, that were totally unjust. Mm -hmm. they were like, like, like just, what, Smith? What, what, what would you say was the biggest misnomer about Mark Aguirre? Uh, that I was a bad teammate, Smith. I mean, like, Jesus. Well, they Christ. said you were a bad person too, Smith. It was said. Yeah. It was that oh, Smith. I mean, I gave all you guys the shirt off my back, and no you question. know. It, I mean, I'd raise you know, my hand for sure, I, and I'm being well, as honest car. as I can. Finally, <laughs> this I. You know, uh, Bill Whittington, whatever you need. You know, I was yeah. with the guys. You know what I mean? I was a teammate, you mm -hmm. know. But when we get on the court, Smith, I expected something from you. Yeah. You know, yeah. And I'm not going to be light on you because we're friends. You know, we got to build this thing. And, and I must say in practice, you know, I, I got a little vicious in practice because this is how we have to play. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, it's just several other things, Smith, that, you know, so far as running around when I was watching Boston and L.A. with Magic and Bird in the finals, I yeah. watched. I went to all those games, man. I went to them. And um, there's not a place for, you know, where we can't talk and we can't compete and let the better guy win. Right. You know? But that helps the team, Smith. Right, right. You know, and um, we kind of yeah. wanted to be this model goody goody franchise, but yeah. goody goody was gone at that time, Smith. Right. It, so we, you, you're saying it was gone, huh? Yeah. So it was it, gone. Yeah, I, I'm gonna cut through the chase, man. I, I, because I hear you saying something, but I want people to know why was it that you got traded to the Detroit Pistons when you got traded there? What was the, the main, the main reason why you thought you got moved on to another team? Well, Smith, there was a main reason. The main reason was the fact that as a team, we were trying to move on as a team. And my uh, expressing myself mm -hmm. basically made it well the, the the other regime didn't want me to express myself they did not want me to express myself and and i never like said anything bad about them i will never ever say anything bad about them but what i wasn't going to do is sit and have my whole career uh not being able to compete for championships and there were decisions made in our draft we they did a excellent job and uh drafting uh our early players which and we grew together the well mm -hmm. but late in our on our team Smith, uh as you know and as i know um there was a a draft in which uh i'll put it on the floor which we uh in our doorstep had carl malone smith i came back from being in chicago to play i think it's poe bills it was it poe yeah, bills yeah. in south dallas it, absolutely I came back from here to play against Carl Malone in the uh, Pro Bill tournament. And once I got done with him, I was like, is he going to be available? Right. Oh, there's no question. He, he meaning Carl, Carl Malone. Carl, right? yeah. There's no question. You got to get this guy. We got to get this guy. And um, we drafted, uh, forgive me, uh, Bill Garnett, I think. No, Randy White. Well, no, it wasn't. You're right. It was Bill Garnett. Randy they yeah. tried to fix that up. Right, right. You know? Right. Yeah, well, they, we drafted Randy White. And, like, here I am. Everybody in the nation knows Carl Malone's a beast. Right. He's Hall I, I of Famer. Beast. Yeah. Huh? Hall of Famer. Along, along with that, a guy that I knew, went to watch him play. I think it's about five hours I had to drive. To see Joe Dumars. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, we falling into this slot? There was no question Joe Dumars could play. Yeah. No question whatsoever. And the picks that we made were so disappointing to me. And I expressed that to the, you know, to the uh, franchise. Office. Yeah, the front office. Huh? The front office. The front office. Yeah, I yeah. expressed this. We have to talk. If I'm your go-to guy, well, I don't know. They didn't treat me like I was a go-to guy. I mean, so far as how you 
kind of build up your stars or or whatever you kind of I mean. I, I had more tear down than I had build up. And, wow. You know, some was just so incredible uh, that they accused me of being a bad teammate, right. upsetting the locker room. Uh, Smith, you you were there. I never I upset was. the locker. Room. I never I never did that. You right. know, and, and it was printed. So you know. Um, that kind of stuff wears you out, Smith. You know, you, yeah. I, I mean, I, I've never done those things. I, yeah. I've never ever done that. I mean, Listen. no one can actually pinpoint where I disturbed the locker room. Right. So, and you know, I practice hard because we fought and practice every day. You trying to win with your little team. Yeah. And I'm not trying to team. win. We we used to beat the crap out yeah. of you first. Time. Don't even try this, man. Yeah, we used Don't to try. beat you all Look. like drums, man. Are you kidding Stop me? Stop telling people Mark. that stuff. <clears throat> Mark, you listen. Know. Listen. Yeah. We, what me, got, Elston man? Turner, listen, listen. You got half Derek time. Harper, Elston Turner, <laughs> Kurt, 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 listen, Kurt Niffius, Dale Ellis, and Jay Vincent. You would have thought we were the starters when we when we competed in practice. Come on, Mike. Come on with that. That is a See, fact. You are. What, you, what are you, Are you, you kidding me? You None of you all could guard you Dale Ellis, that? first of all. Oh, you trying to tell me. Okay, okay. Hey, so listen, to none of you all could guard Dale Ellis. I had I, 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 I Elston Turner that, and I had because I crushed everybody in the back line. We're not whoever talking was about back. you. We're talking about five on five. My first yeah, two years in the I, league, we dominated you all. Smith, come on, Smith. Don't be telling these people that it's stuff. A fact. I'll bring on some more guests the next time. We'll next week we'll get Roe, Brad. Who was your starters? Pat Cummings. It was Roe, Brad. Uh. Big Dukes. James, no, James Donaldson was, was James. No, no, he came in a little bit after that, didn't he? Oh, no, you're right. James Donaldson, okay. You know Big Dukes beat up everybody back Who was there. your forwards? Who were you, who, who, other than yourself, who was the power forward? Sam Perkins. No, Perk was with us, man. Perk wasn't a starter when he first got in. Hold on, Smith, you talking, what, what you trying to, you I'm mean, talking you about first my guy? first, my first two years in the NBA we so beat you, you all no, like Sheila E beats drums, man. We, oh man, I, I can't believe you don't remember that, Smith. That's part of the reason why you were fighting for me to be a starter because oh, we were beating happened. you all so bad. Yeah, look, look, that didn't happen, Smith. Go no, no. I think you, you nah, know, Smith. I think you just. Bro, I think you're Smith. delusional now. I mean, out of hey, one look, breath, hey, listen, hey, out of one breath, Smith, there. you just look, said, Mark. There, is delusional. <laughs> He's delusional. If he How, Smith, out of one <laughs> breath, you just said you fought for me to be a starter in front of my dear yeah. guy, Brad Davis, right? But you wasn't winning. That one spot don't make a win. Get out of here. We were killing you all, man. I can't believe you hey, won't put that listen, up. Hey, you need to put see, that out in the hemisphere, out here in the, in, the, in, in the world. Everybody needs to know that. And I can, I can bring Elston you, Turner on. I can bring Dale Ellis on. Jay you Vincent, need to go get him. Kurt Niffius, and Mark no, we, West. I want to Mark get West. <laughs> okay, this crap, man. We I, you need to you, all, you, man. On, you helped us, but y'all yeah. wasn't you weren't winning no games. Yeah. Get out of here. Right. Well, move it, yeah. move it, move it right along, man. I, I, I that is yeah, a fact. Right and along, we're gonna one. we're gonna prove that. I, I'll I'll uh, I'll dig uh, so many people up that will echo the same sentiments that I'm talking about right now. Until everybody will know. I, I think your guys would admit that, man. Uh, who? Everybody. Elston had Rolando in a in a in a phone booth. He couldn't do much against Elston Turner. And man, we, bro, we know how that point him. guard thing went. You know what I'm saying? Jay hey, Vincent, yeah, you couldn't yeah. guard, you could not guard you Jay Vincent. Roll on with me. Mark. And we talk about that. You because could not, man. Mark, you could not guard Jay Vincent. But anyway, we got we got to keep going. We we Let's hey, move on. we Let's do move a, on. <laughs> hey in this show, Let's Mark, we do <laughs> we do a segment. Move on. Let's move, hey, move we, on. We do a hey. show called hey. Fact or Fiction, hey. Smith. Hey. Let's move on. Are you kidding me? Listen, Smith. Smith. We do a show. We do a segment on the show that's called Fact or Fiction, and I'm going to ask you a question, and you tell me whether or not it's fact or fiction. Where my coffee at, man? <laughs> I don't know where it is. You're in Chicago. <laughs> my coffee. Listen. I got it for you. You you going all the other corners. Oh no, Come no, on. no. I'm this is this is okay. a good this is a good we debate, do, a good conversation. Listen, we do fact it. or fiction. We doing it right now? Yeah, right here, right now. We're gonna do it. Fact or fiction, Mark. 
you should be in the Hall of, Hall of Fame right now based on what you did as an NBA player. Come on, Smith. That's be no honest. Way. This is this is should you? Man, there's no question, Smith. Look at it. I mean, geez, so just go with the numbers. We don't have to go with the numbers. And then you go with the fact of every team in the NBA tried to figure out who was going to guard me and what guy was going to guard me. And none of that worked. None of that. No <laughs> game. Agree with that. Uh, go back to any individual game. I'll give it you that. Matter. <laughs> you know, I think um, I heard a, a quote about Pat Riley saying he couldn't sleep at night. Oh, that's a fact. To- I, I played yeah. for Riles, and he definitely talked about those things. He couldn't sleep at night trying to figure out how to guard me. Right. And you, you go on and on and on, Smith. I mean, like, uh, I mean, there were some great players out there, but they were players. I'm talking about crushing a player. Right. You know, <laughs> the guy that was behind me, not just playing well, but taking his heart. Like, right. you know, <laughs> taking his heart, Smith. Right. Well, was no forward in the NBA would even think about it. They'd not just play me hard. Wouldn't even right. think about it. Wouldn't even look at me in the face. They didn't even want, you know, would talk to me, Smith, because I was out to crush them right. every night. So if I ask, <laughs> if, if if I got a hold of Dominique and asked him. He don't want to see me. <laughs> he don't want to see me. That's why they put Kevin Willis over there. <laughs> if Dominique I talk to Larry Bird me. when we go to Boston this year, what is Larry going to say? Larry didn't come over there. Larry, <laughs> he's a great shooter. Larry was. Larry's really the most shooter. underrated guy I've ever seen. Larry Bird is a, is a baller. Oh, total baller. Yeah. Total baller. But total ballers, no total ballers. And if you ask them, mm-hmm. any of my era, small forwards, yeah. any of them. Matter of fact, ask the power forwards. Bernard too. King. Bernard King. Cold, but didn't guard me either. <laughs> I had to guard him. So nobody yeah. wanted to guard Mark McGuire. Smith, watch any film. I challenge anybody on this uh, that's watching your podcast. Yeah. Go pick up an old Maverick film. I don't care what team it is. You know, I used to get in the middle of the circle when we get to toss the ball up. And I was a little deviant, I guess, a little bit like that. But I used to ask the small forward, are you guarding me today or is it someone else? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's someone else. I bet not ever see you. You bet not even switch on me. Maybe that's what's keeping me in the, out of the Hall of Fame, man, because I used to actually, you know, challenge him. You know, and then when I get done with them, you know, you didn't have a good day, did you? <laughs> hey, listen, I, I, I'm I'm with you on this one, Mark. I, I I go around everywhere talking about. I think it's a it's a catastrophe. It's laughable. That, yeah, it's laughable it's all, that you all, and I. I yeah. saw it with my own eyes. I was a teammate for seven eight years with you, and I I, I speak up for you all the time. I think everybody that's in the NBA and that's been a part of the NBA family, they know what... They uh, know. Who, who, they, who? All of them know, man. Martin, I mean, who? I <clears throat> maybe they see something I didn't see, so I don't give them that. But if you ask our era, the top players that played against me, I guarantee you 100% will be no question he should be in the Hall of Fame. Not even a, well, I don't even think you're going to get that. Because they don't understand. Well, man. And, I'm like, I, you know, I don't understand. You know, the icing on the cake for me, Mark, is that a lot of times when you start talking Hall of Fame, they always throw up, he didn't win a championship. You know, they, he, he he didn't win a championship. He, you won two championships. Check, check, check. check you check, check all the boxes. Every box. Every <laughs> box. Not check with a little egg. A big check, like you know, yeah, 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 yeah. man. I got big check, please. Yeah. I mean, hey. it's. It, I think it's more smid of the fact that, you know, Politics. my my demeanor, smid on the court, uh, was rather vicious. Was it you know more vicious than Dennis Rodman? Yeah, well, Dennis Rodman was. He's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he. I mean, he was a different kind of vicious smith i was a demoralizing vicious oh my God. you know i mean seriously smith i mean honest <laughs> with you we used to talk on the bus we used yeah. to talk going yeah, all the time the, you know when i came in i didn't give them a break like i demoralized them like from day one 
First time I got it on the box. You have no chance down here. None whatsoever. Where's the double team coming from? I know there's a double team. Because if you're down here by yourself, you have not a chance. Yeah, I, None. I can, I can None. I, I love Dr. J. And right. you you tell me if you remember this story. I, I they picked the All Stars. We were getting ready to play the Philadelphia oh. 76ers, right? So prior to that game, that week, they pick all-star, the all-star teams. Right. right. And you didn't make it. And I know, I know you, and I know you thought that you should have made it. But hold it, Smith. But hold it, Smith. Hold it, Smith. Okay. <laughs> this is why I'm saying that my vicious demeanor may, may not have helped. My, maybe it had people thinking a little differently, but... Smith, I think at that point I was one or two. There is no Small time forwards. in history where the number one and number two score didn't make the All-Star team. No time ever in history. Right. You averaged 29 that year. Huh? You averaged 29 that year. Hey, I think I was leading the NBA in scoring, Smith. Yeah, right there. You and Adrian Dantley were right there. And you mean to tell me not in the total era of the NBA – the one and two score, probably lower than that, have always been in the All-Star game. I, yes, I mean, go nice. back. It's in my city. The game's in Dallas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can I be left off of that one? Yeah, especially what you did to Doc. I know Doc remembered that night. Listen, Doc yeah, I felt sorry room. for Doc that night. I've never felt sorry for the great Julius Irving. He was exception. in the wrong place at yeah, the wrong time. <laughs> That's what it was. Like, you know, when I came out to that game, Smith, I was like. Yeah, you didn't even speak to anybody. You you were <laughs> I was so Good evening upset. to anybody. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. And I didn't want to say the wrong thing to anybody because at that point I might have said something wrong. And you mean to tell me that this narrative has gotten to a point where things that are right in front of your face, you would like to just throw it on mark. Nobody will care. It'll go away. But it's total disrespect to what I was doing for the NBA. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. like, never in NBA history has the number one and two score not been on the all-star team. And here right. it is in my home city. And you pick five guys that, don't even want to see me land in their city because I'm a crush them. Mm -hmm. They're on the all-star teams, Mitt. Hold on. You know, in L.A., uh, Denver, yeah, all the Western Conference, they didn't want to see me at all. Mm -hmm. Not destroy them, not just, you know, play a good game. No, you're getting destroyed. We got to change, man. Put somebody else on it. <laughs> You know, so you well, know I'm not lying. I'm no, you're not. I, I, I agree with, with what you're saying right now. And it sounds like to me, Mark, is that the problem you had is that you were considered a bad boy. So how ironic is it that you ended up <laughs> going to the team that was just who you say you were as a player? You, you were a bad boy and you went and played to win your two championships in Detroit. Take right. take people behind the scene of what that was like when you guys won back to back championships. Well, let's let's go through this, man. I go to a team that's already put together. Mm -hmm. So, and that alone, being a teammate, in order to win games, I had to figure out how I best fit this team. Yeah, what your niche was. Yeah, I had to figure that out. And they didn't need me to be a carrier. They didn't need me to be, you know, go to me, go to me. But they needed that low post presence, right? Mm -hmm. So as a teammate, I had no problem doing that, Smith. Like, you know, if I'm on the post and you were in the corner wide open, you knew you were going to get the ball, right? No question. No question. So when I went in there, I went in as trying to do what I did in Dallas. My role in Dallas was a little different. I had to carry, you know what I'm saying? So when I went into Detroit, you never heard a peep about me being a bad teammate, did you? Oh, you fit right in. 
I did what I had to do, Smith, in order to win. And I've always done that way. Like, I fought for you. Like, uh, we needed more of um, Sam to score. I was mm -hmm. down for that. We needed, you know, uh, wh whatever it was, Smith, you know, I'm going to find my we way. We needed Rome but, to score. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm listening. What you say, man? You snuck something <laughs> in there. But, um, you know, when I went to Detroit, it was like, look, I'm here to win championships, and I don't expect you to believe me. I'm going to prove what I do to you on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for six years in Detroit, you never heard a peep about me being a bad teammate. And I say, I say my teammates in Dallas never said anything about me being a bad teammate from their mouth. Right. But it was somehow put in the narrative about me being, you know, this guy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that guy, Smith. I, I, I don't, I'm not that thing. You know, like I give the shirt off my back. I'll, you know, I'll do whatever it takes, teammate. I'll get to the gym early with you. I'll practice with you. We'll have conversations. But um, one thing that I cannot keep is the fact that when I play against another player, I don't go out there to, win the game and have fun. I come out there to destroy you. And I think a lot of other coaches probably didn't like the way not play well against the player. I wanted his heart. I, I didn't want him to even, I wanted him to tremble when I came back to his city. I wanted to look in his face and see in his, deep in his eyes, like, okay, you got the message. So, you know, you make it easy on yourself, you know, and that's the way I approach the game. Now, if you didn't like that, I'm sorry, but when I played the game, I played for keeps. You know, I played to see who was the best. And, you know, I'm not, uh, if you want to put that as being a bad guy, yep, I'm a bad guy. If you want to use that, I'm a bad, every day, I'm a bad guy because I'm coming out to destroy you. Mm. Magic, my buddies, Isaiah, my buddies. Look, whatever I can do to beat you, that's what's getting ready to happen. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So I'm a bad guy if you want to put it like that. Amen. But so, you know, yeah. that's as, it. As my co-host, we're going to get into to a, a lot more of this, a lot more of that, a lot more of everything. I got one more question for you. And that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you alone and let you go, and then we'll see you next, we'll see you <laughs> next week. We'll see you next week at, at, at 10 o'clock, uh, hopefully anyway. Um, I'm the gangster, Smith. If, if I say... If I ask you why we never won a championship with the team that was put together, what would you say? You were talking about championships, and that's what it being about. What, what would you say kept, that kept us from being champions? Because I think talent-wise, we were good enough to win it. Just time. Just time. We were, we were, we were, we were. I wasn't worried. As the teams were at the top then, I wasn't worried about the Lakers. That was getting ready to happen to them. Mm -hmm. They were they were getting ready to go. Um, uh, you know, we beat Detroit by thirty probably every time we played them. Yeah, so, yeah. So when you talk about the two top teams at each conference, uh, it was a matter of time, Smith. I think um, um, I question um, the fact that. You know, we had been playing together for eight years. Uh -huh. Everybody tries to figure out what to do to win a championship. But if you've been doing something for eight years, you can't change too much. And um, respectfully, I think he was trying a good thing. But uh, John McLeod came in, and uh, which is a good man. He's a very good man. I, I mean, I, I like I him. I would but concur with that. Yeah, he's a very good man. I mean, a Love very him. good man. You know. As a as a player, I question the fact that uh, he was trying to change a lot of things that we had been in for eight years. But mm -hmm. I never bucked against it. I yeah. did it. Yeah. And uh, uh, we started clinking a little bit because we had spent eight years building up, you know, what we are. And, um, you know, I tried it and we tried it and it didn't work for us. And uh you know, it kind of made us stumble a little bit. But I still, I think um, it was only a matter of time. Okay. I, 
I think it was only a matter of time before we actually uh, reached that time. That's my thinking. I, I, yeah. I, I, I'll honestly believe that. I yeah. will always believe that. Without a question, it was only a matter of time. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Smith, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pushed for a little time right now, but I, I want to say thank you for not only joining this show, but for agreeing to be my co-host on the, on Harps Court. We're going to have a lot of fun. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. You might not like the stuff I'm going to say. Oh, it, it, it's not what I like. It's what everybody else likes. And well, everybody, uh, They're not going to agree with me. I know it, you know. That's and, okay. uh But I'm going to get my peace, you know. Sometimes and, you can uh, agree to disagree, if you would, in life. And things still go on, you know. It's just... just man, but, but, Smith, I don't want the garbage, though. You know, yeah. don't, I, don't, I don't have time to... Oh, I don't even want to discuss garbage, you know, like, you know, you're talking about, yeah, you know, let's just throw that out. Well, I, <laughs> you know, know, I, I know what you mean, because you're in I'm, a good place in your life right now. I know I'm, that that you're well, happy in life. And that's at the end of the day, that's all that matters, man. Again, I appreciate your time and I look forward to uh, to more conversation with you. Yeah, I want you all to know, too, Derek Harper was the blindest point guard <laughs> in NBA history. Hey, he thought hey, every ball. Ted, cut him ball. off, Ted. Thanks, he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> no, Ted, hey, it's blind, blind <laughs> melon jelly. That's, <laughs> anyway, that's, I was a pass. I was a pass first point guard, man. What are you I talking like about? Hart, would you please get a rock up? <laughs> you know, Hart. Jeez, hey, pass man. the ball, man. Listen, I, Smith, I, I love you. you. <laughs> I love you. We'll talk hey. soon. Okay, babe. Thanks for joining. All right. Bye-bye. Good. All right.